Hi guys, I um, finally got my PS3 Slim after my PS3 Fat decided to yellow light and stop reading Blu-ray discs and DVDs, discs for that matter. So I ordered a PS3 Slim because of the PS3 shortage. It took almost two weeks to arrive, but I finally got it. So, I got the 120 gig model, and I'm going to replace it with my 160 gig hard drive from my PS3 Fat. The 120 gig hard drive is already up for sale, so pretty much going to make some money off of this PS3 Slim here. It's worth it. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys my replacement of the hard drive. I'm sure you already know how, but let's get into it. The first thing we want to do is flip the PS3 upside down. Unlike the PS3 Fat, the hard drive is located at the base as opposed to the side. This little clip here, so we just want to pop this up and slide it to the side. That reveals the screw that is holding the hard drive in place. I'll place camera right here. Okay. All right, and we'll remove that. I have a set of precision screwdrivers. The 3.8 millimeter screwdriver seems to work on all the PS3 screws that I've ever encountered. So, went ahead and used that for this. Screw wants to give a hard time to come up. Okay, there we go. All right, once that's removed, there's the little bay, I don't know what you would call this, retains or creates the beauty here, even though the PS3 Slim is quite hideous. You want to slide this piece out. There you go. Slide it out, and you remove it. Okay, from that point, we have the actual PS3 hard drive in its retainer here. Pop this latch up, and slide it out. And there she is, the 120 gig beauty. Alright, so at the bottom, we have four screws that now have to be removed. We have one, two, three, four. So again, just use the precision screwdriver. One, two, and four okay and we'll just slide there we go slide it out there's the bay put that to the side and grab our 160 gig hard drive which is not large but since it already has everything I need on there and it's the proper size, I'll reuse it. Slide it back in and replace each screw. Uh, there we go. Screws are falling all over the place. Well, if it's one thing I will say, this uh, PS3 Slim is quite hideous compared to the PS3 Fat. The piano finish is gone. The ability to install another operating system is gone. The uh, the switch at the back that allowed you to shut down the system's power is gone. Which I really dislike because sometimes I just turn that off if I was going to be away. Didn't want power going to the PS3 and instead of getting behind my console and unplugging things I would just shut the power switch off. I really liked that option. Uh, I really miss the piano finish. I really miss the uh, screws are sliding under things here. Uh, really miss the little chrome it had on it as well. That kind of added to its beauty. But I don't miss the fact that it consumed a lot of power. I don't miss the fact that it was huge. Oh, one thing, this PS3 Slim, as small as it is, I find it to be a lot noisier. Anyway, our screws are back in to the PS3 drive retainer, so 
We're going to slide it back into the system, flip the latch down, slide this piece back onto the front, and put our screw back in place to retain the hard drive. Also, if you guys have any problems with stripping of the screws, well, be careful not to strip the screws, but if you do, I've noticed that a Phillips head, well, not a Phillips head, I'm sorry, a needle nose pliers, you can grab the edges and really clamp down on it. Okay, so our screws back in, and we'll just pop our latch back on right there, and that's it. PS3 hard drive replacement complete. Weird camera angle. To the face, to the face. <laughs> I'm just joking. That guy's cool.